Hello guys, welcome back to another different kind of video. This time, I'm going to be looking at a new archetype that just got announced recently. So this new archetype is the last new archetype of the Valiant Smashers booster pack and they're called Centurion. This archetype is focused around synchro summoning level 12 synchro monsters during your opponent's turn and the biggest thing about them is that they have a very deadly potential. So let's look at the cards. Currently there are only 8 known cards with a night one that's yet to be revealed. The current cards are the 3 main deck monsters, Centurion, Primera, Judea, and Emmet 6, the level 12 synchro monster Centurion Legatia, the field spell Stand Up Centurion, and the quick play spell Fave of Centurion, and lastly, the normal trap Centurion Phalanx and the counter trap Truth Centurion. So, their main game plan revolves around synchro summoning their boss monster Legatia and other level 12 single monsters that you could probably think of during your opponent's turn. This is possible due to their field spell and the main deck monster's ability to special summon themselves from their spell trap zone. I won't be getting into all the details and effects of these cards, this is just a preview, but I will be going over a very deadly combo that you can do with just one card. Now this combo revolves around the 3 main deck monster, the synchro monster, and the field spell. So that's 5 cards in total, but it only takes 1 card to start the whole combo. It's ridiculous. So let's go and take a look at that combo. Here we are in EDO Pro, I have this uh, deck list right here, and as you can see right here, King Calamity. That's right, they can cheat this guy out on your opponent's turn very easily. It's a very resilient combo as well. The combo itself has a rather flexible start. You can start with either Primera, the Field Spell, or Trudea. But the go-to start is to normal summon Trudea. Alright, let's look at the combo and see how it's done. Alright, okay. First things first, you're gonna normal summon Trudea, activate her effect to set herself and Primera into the spell and trap card zone. Next, Primera activates her effect to special summon herself, and on summon, she will search the field spell Stand Up Centurion. Then activate that, and then you activate Stand Up Centurion's effect to send a card from your hand to the graveyard to set Emmet 6. Once again, Emmet 6 activates his effect to special summon itself, and the field spell allows you to synchro summon immediately when a Centurion monster is special summoned. Special summon into Legatia, and next you end your turn. On end phase, Legatia sets Primera from the graveyard onto your spell and trap card zone, and during your opponent's main phase, if they do anything, like say normal summon, you can immediately use both Primera and Trudea's effect to special summon themselves because since they are considered continuous trap cards, they have spell speed too. And when Trudea is special summoned this way, you can increase the level by 4, making her a level 8. And the spell spell allows you to synchro summon into Crimson Dragon. This card is the card that is going to cheat out King Calamity. Now, if your opponent tries to do anything else, like go into the battle phase, you can immediately activate Crimson Dragon. Now, you have to make sure to do this as a chain link one in order to get King Crimson's effect off. But you activate Crimson Dragon's effect, targeting Legatia, and now you can special summon King Calamity, activating his effect, and boom, your opponent is locked out of activating their effects. Crazy, right? So after that, you now have Lethal in Legatia, King Calamity, and a Centurion monster of your choice for your next turn. It's an absolutely crazy combo that's resilient to a lot of disruption as well. Don't be surprised if King Calamity or Crimson Dragon gets banned in the future. Also, don't be surprised if Centurion becomes the next archetype to fear. And with that said, thank you guys for watching, that's all I have really for this archetype. It's a really interesting archetype and I can't wait to play it 
when it comes out in Mass Duel, but that's like a year from now, honestly. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys whenever.